Hello everybody, it's Jay Roby. 2014 U.S. Chess Championship just wrapped up today in spectacular fashion in Armageddon Blitz. Uh, Irina Crush won her side on the ladies' side, and uh, Kamsky won his side on the men's. Um, and this was a, a brief snapshot of the kamsky Akobian game. And I'm showing this one because it's got a nice little tactical motif to it, and that's removing the defender. Now, I'm going to tell you right away, this video is going to be quick. I'm going to be flying through the positions, so pause whenever you need to and see if you can find the best move, uh, best winning line to do. Uh, before I get started, though, let me say this. St. Louis Chess Club, absolutely amazing tournament coverage. Absolutely amazing. Um, Jennifer Shahadi and all the uh, commentary crew, Awesome. Ben Feingold's Facebook post, great. All all really good. And I think that really helped bring this tournament to a, a new level here. And I'm um, looking forward to the next time that uh, St. Louis is hosting a chess tournament. Uh, but let's get to the video here. So, uh, Kamsky's white. Black just played bishop to e6. Go ahead and pause the video if you want. See if you can come up with a nice move for black in the, or sorry for white in this position that removes a defender from a piece and helps you win a little bit of material. And actually, we have the same motif pop up a few moves after, so stay tuned for that. Um, so from this position, uh, Kamsky decides, you know what? I'm going to take that pawn there on g7. Let's get this started. King recaptures. Queen hits a check. Now the king has absolutely no way to defend the knight. King falls back, queen takes knight, and from this position here, black tries to salvage it a little bit by bringing the king, king back to uh, g8, uh, but now we uh, just hit the check again. King goes back to f8, and this light square bishop is activated even more, attacking the pawn on h7. Unfortunately, there's nothing that black can do to defend it. Just pushes his pawn up to a5. The pawn falls. Now we've got all kinds of threats in this position. Uh, black tries to salvage the rook here by playing rook over to c8. So it's given the light square bishop the defense of that rook. Uh, but unfortunately, Kamsky says, you know what? I want that uh, rook somehow. So he attacks the bishop. Bishop captures. Queen recaptures. Now in this position here, his opponent, Akobian, tried to elicit a queen trade. But now we got the tactical mo motif popping up again. So go ahead and pause the video, see if you can get it. You probably see it already. Boom! Rook check on d8. And there's absolutely nothing that black can do in this position. Because if black takes the rook here, the queen just drops here on c5. So it was game over at this point. Now I'm going to rifle through some positions that I've come up with myself um, regarding removing the defender. I'm going to go through them quickly, so see if you can catch them as we go. So here's the first one. Go ahead and pause the video. Look for a line where you can remove the defender from a piece and either get some material or get a crushing position. Um, so in this particular position, I'm going to get started right now, uh, bishop takes on f3. Okay, now we got some big problems. That pawn on h2 is being attacked by the black queen and the black rook. What's white going to do? If white decides to push the pawn up to prevent the checkmate, rook can take, and there's really not much that white can do in this position. They can't just take the queen. If it takes the queen, it's just checkmate uh, there with rook to h1. So really the only move is to capture the rook, at which point check, and then checkmate, and it's game over. If we go back to this position, instead of uh, playing g3 what if white were to, or what if white were to try something like this uh, taking the bishop well it's just game over there too um, so that was this position here the starting position let's go on to the next one for game two of uh, my list that I created here uh, so in this position go ahead and pause the video see if you can find a way to remove that defender and uh, score some material in this particular line it's bishop takes here on d6 now all of a sudden we've got uh, two attackers on the pawn on f7, one of which is a queen, by the way. Um, so if the uh, bishop is taken, it's just uh, checkmate and game over. If we go back a line, though, back a couple moves, if we try something like queen takes knight, which removes the threat from f7, we just get into a line here where a lot of material drops off the board for black, and there's pretty much nothing that's going to be uh, able to salvage this position from uh, here on. Let's go to the next one, uh, game three on my list. All right, go ahead and pause the video. See if you can find a way to remove the defender from a piece. Um, in this particular position, rook check here on g2. Now all of a sudden the pawn on d3 is not going to have a defender. The pawn's going to drop, and this is a workable position for black for sure. Um, you know, a draw, maybe even a win. We'd have to see how it goes. Uh, next position. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, once again, we've got another uh, position here where you can strip the defender, win some material. This happens to be a bishop one as well. Bishop takes knight here on f6, pawns hanging. Uh, once the pawn falls, we've got a very workable position from white in this position as a pawn up in the, in the game. Let's go to the next one here. All right, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can find it. Uh, very similar theme to this one. Bishop takes here on c6, pawns hanging pawn drops and you got a workable position as white in this game 
All right, let's continue on here. I think I created some without just uh, bishop moves, but let's take a look at this one here. Uh, so go ahead and pause it. Take a look at the position. There's some dynamic things going on here. There's some threats. Um, so you got to factor that into your uh, into your thinking. Uh, but from this position here, it's uh, not only removing the defender, but it's it's sacrificing a piece. Basically, it's saying, you know what? Here I am, like square bishop attacking the queen. What are you going to do? If you take it, boom, checkmate, game over. Can't take it. So what else can you do? Well, from this position here, if you try something like uh, maybe we'll push the pawn up to g3, well then you just drop the queen and it's going to be game over anyway. So uh, pretty much hopeless from that point with that nice little bishop move there. Let's go to the next one. All right, go ahead and pause the video. This is not a bishop one. I'll give you a hint. All right, let's take a look. Knight to c5. What is going on here? Well, knight can't be taken. And it's check. Not only is it check, it's double check. So king's got to go. King goes over to c8. What was that king defending? Well, after the rook check, boom, rook falls there on e6. The defender of that rook is gone. So I hope you got that one. That was a little bit different. Let's go to the next position. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can find this one. All right, let's take a look. Rook check again. Hits the king. King's got to peel off. Rook drops. Game over. Okay, I've only got two more. Hopefully you are uh, got them all right so far. If you have, post them in the comments. Post in the comments how many you got right out of ten. And, uh, and let me know. I'm definitely curious. Okay, so the next one here. Go ahead and pause the video. See if you can find a way to remove the defender from the piece. Win some material. Okay, so in this position, bishop takes knight. Once bishop's recaptured, the bishop there on d5 falls, and there's nothing that can be done. You might have thought, well, there might be some back uh, back row problems here, but we just got knight to uh, f1 to take care of that, so not a big problem. All right, let's take a look at my last example. All right, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can find this one. might be a little bit more complicated, but well, let's take a look. Rook takes knight. Rook takes rook. Can't do that because it's uh, going to be checkmate in a couple moves. So what's the other options? Well, let's take a look. After rook takes knight, you could try something like this, right? But you're still going to drop the piece. You're going to be behind material. Uh, approximately two pawns in this position once the one falls there. And uh, you're going to have a pretty playable game from this position right here. Um, so those are a few examples that I came up with for removing the defender to either win a little bit of material or get a crushing position in the game. And uh, once again, U.S. Chess Championships 2014 was over in the last game uh, between Akobe and Kamsky. <laughs> awesome stuff. Great removing the defender tactical motifs all throughout. So take care. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next video.